It's your boy Fish Attic. I'm out here at Lake Coda Ozarks and this is actually like my third spot out here. I've been to like two other spots and been unsuccessful. Um, I'm on a crappie hunt. Uh, again, the weather is so crazy. I really think that these fi these fish are confused. They don't they don't know whether they want to spawn. You know, the water temperatures. I'm sure the water temperatures is is going up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, just last week it was in the mid to upper 70s, like every day. Friday dropped down into the 40s and it's been like 40 all weekend long. And uh, so this water's not warming up. It's, you know, the water's still pretty cold. And, um, you know, you get a bite here and there, but, you know, nothing really uh, substantial. So I'm going to be doing some vertical, uh, some vertical fishing. I got this six foot six eagle claw uh, combo. This is an ultra light. So I'm fishing it with about, I believe this is four pound test. This is actually the same rod that I actually use to uh, catch trout. So uh, you guys stick with me and hopefully we can, uh, you know, we can put some crappie on the stringer. All right, peace. I think I'm getting some action. Probably some little bitty bluegill that's uh, nibbling at these minnows. So, I really believe that this is uh, just probably some little small bluegill. And uh, they're just nibbling at it. Uh, they're not quite big enough to take the minnow, so probably just chasing around. Uh, but when I vertical fish, I typically wait for that pole to bend over. You know, when it's just tapping and dancing like that you know that that doesn't mean anything to me so I like to wait to that pole actually and then I'll set that hook all right so I got one pole that I'm vertical fishing with and that's that 
Eagle Claw, six foot Eagle, six six Eagle Claw. Uh, pole that I'm fishing with, and then I also have the six foot Daiwa uh, combo, and this is an ultra light as well, and it's also on a four pound test. So I got that uh, fishing it with a bobber, and uh, like I'm getting a little action on it, but nothing's actually really taking it and uh, if I don't get anything uh, the vertical fishing with minnows or on this barber <clears throat> then I'm gonna switch to a jig and start casting and see if I can put some uh, put some crappie on the stringer oh, I missed him I missed him guys Get it right back out there. I missed him. Damn. So guys, I'm thinking I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a bob on this other one too. Is that a vertical jig in? I'm gonna put a bob on him. Seem like they I'm getting action with the barber. I just need to commit. Crappie. Nice crappie. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about right there. Let's get on the stringer. <laughs> get him on the stringer and get him right back out there. Hopefully you got some buddies out there. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. I 
like that. There we go. There we go. Whatever it is, it is nice. Look at this little striper, white bass. Ah. Come on. That striper, that big old minnow. I knew that couldn't possibly be a crappie. All right, guys, so I'm back at home. Uh, the bite was tough. Fishing was tough today. I uh, got maybe about three or four uh, little bluegills that I caught. I threw those back. I only got two significant fish. I brought them home. So this video is now going to turn into a catch, clean, and cook. So I'm going to show you guys what I brought home. I got the one crappie. It's a nice size crappie. And then I got the one striper. It's a nice size striper as well. So. I'm going to clean these guys up, and when I come back, I'm going to start making some fish tacos. So, stick with me. Alright, so there's the fillets. I cleaned everything all up. You got the two pieces of crappie right there, and you got the two stripers right there. So, all I'm going to do is, I'm going to season it with some Larry seasoning sauce some garlic powder, some lemon pepper, and I'm gonna chop it after it starts cooking and gets almost done with some parsley flakes. And uh, I got the skillet heating up. Just put a little vegetable oil in there or canola oil or olive oil, whatever kind of oil you like.
in the striper. I got my tortillas cooking. To make the sauce you need some chili sauce, some mayo, real mayo, and you need some red hot sweet chili. Mix it all together and that'll be your sauce for your tacos. Also need to pick you up a bag of this tricolor coleslaw. This goes on your taco just like it's lettuce. Okay, so I just put sauce on the tortillas. Put your fish. Take your, get some more sauce on top. And then you take your tricolor coleslaw. Tacos. All right, guys, I'm about to devour these tacos. So, do me a favor if you like these videos, you want me to do some more catch, clean, and cooks, uh, drop a comment down in the comment section. Um, if you like the recipe, leave a comment in the, in the comment section and uh, I can shoot that to you guys. Um, it's very easy to make. Um, it takes all about 10 minutes and it's delicious. So, if you guys like the video, hit that like button, 
subscribe to the channel and share this with your friends and family co-workers whoever just get it out there peace